Marine Force. A combat outfit built around firepower. The mission is simple and uncomplicated. To be ready at all times to seize and defend real estate. The traditional spearhead and heart of the fleet marine force has been, is now, and always will be, the rifle. But what has changed radically over the years are the methods employed to put him where the action is. To keep him supplied. And to support him in combat. One of the most effective ways this is being done today is through the efforts of marine aviation, indispensable members of the modern combat team. Through them, the marine on the beach, the marine in the jungle receives is the home of a marine air group. Don't let the sprawling inventory of hangars and shops make you think it's a landlocked institution. This group is a flexible task organization, capable of sustaining itself independently in a combat situation anywhere in the world. The group's mission is carried out by individual squadrons, each one a specialist in rendering a particular type of service. Each squadron works hard to maintain its proficiency. You do the job again and again. It looks simple now, but this pilot may one day lift artillery or evacuate a wounded Marine in the midst of battle. The pilot in the jarring environment of war will rely upon the training and the instinct he had developed through countless exercises no different than this. For the air group to be ready to do its job, whenever assigned, it had to be designed with a high degree of built-in mobility. Mobility means portability. You take with you the gear you need to do the job. And that includes such items of hardware as this field arresting gear, a key component in the prefabricated airfields that precede, sometimes by only hours, the air groups that will use them. These Marines who serve with the group's air base squadron know full well that it takes more than planes and pilots to provide air support. Someone must undertake the necessary but often unglamorous jobs of putting the planes in the air and getting them back down again. Equally important to the air group's mission are these Marines, serving in the darkness of the tactical air operations center. Electronically, they follow the pilot into battle. They may be separated by miles of sky and jungle, but they are continuously linked by radio and radar. Together, they form a tightly coordinated fighting team. Also following the pilot into battle are the skill and experience of the Marines who practice today's very sophisticated art of keeping planes in the air. The days of bailing wire and canvas patches have been relegated to the archives. Today's maintenance man is a specialist, requiring a high degree of proficiency to keep these complex machines always on the go. Some marine squadrons specialize in air-to-air -air refueling. This KC-130 Hercules is an airborne tanker setting out to rendezvous with a formation of thirsty jets.
Having enough fuel for long hops is basic to the Marine's mission. He threads a needle at 220 knots. It's an understatement to say this evolution requires a fine degree of control, matched by an adequate supply of cool nerve. So they learn, they practice, they maintain themselves, and they keep alert. But what does it all lead up to? upon every diversified talent in the air group. These helicopter pilots are professionals. It took 18 months of concentrated schooling before they could assume the responsibility of a chair in the squadron's ready room. Jobs like this island will teach them the team concept. For whatever their specialty, choppers, fighters, all weather attack, they must learn to work together but with the rifleman on the ground. The first minutes of a thoroughly planned timetable for an assault take off. The first phase of airborne support is softening up the enemy before the troops hit the soil. This is a job for the Skyhawks, experts in low-level pinpoint attacks using a variety of weapons. Heavy ordnance loads make it necessary for JATO, the portable pint-sized thrust that gives that extra push needed for takeoff. After this strike attack moves out, the next phase of the airborne timetable begins. This is the Leatherneck version of the Trojan Horse. It transports the most important weapon in the Marine arsenal, the Rifleman. It is this Marine who is the focal point of all that went before. The planning, the support, all the technology and military know-how manifested in the battalion's operation order. Meanwhile, the Skyhawks have arrived on station. They check in with the forward air controller for their mission. Little John 1-4, this is Blue 1 over Conolavi at Angels 20. Over. Blue 1, this is Little John 1-4. I have a priority target in the open. Chart Charlie Sierra. Coordinates 9, 6, 3, 4, 6, 7. They are north of me 1,000 yards. Request napalm, rockets, and bombs. Runs east to west. Over. Roger, Little John. Understand coordinates 9 or 6, 3, 4, 6, 7. Runs east to west. Read back is correct. Report rolling not unopposed. The long-range radar at the Tactical Air Operations Center sends out electronic feelers with results. Sea Grape, this is Punch Bowl. I have a bogey for you. 70 degrees port at 25 miles vector. Hard port 310. Bogey is a single. High-speed target. Heading 180. Angel 40. Roger, bogey. Take speed, 1.2. Angels, OK. Roger, Angels, OK. Bulky passing, right to left. Roger, right to left. Contact, 10 starboard, 6 miles. Roger, that is your bogey. Break away, heading 0, 9 0. This is Seagrave, Heather. Bounce away. With the ground neutralized and the air above it momentarily cleared, the choppers seek out their landing zones. 
This calls for the closest coordination between the Skyhawks and the helicopter flight leader. 11 o'clock, 2,000 yards, my position. Over. Roger. Rolling in. wave of troops land with minimum opposition. The effectiveness of the Skyhawks that preceded them buys them the needed time to dig in and grab a toehold. By the time the second wave disembarks, enemy mortar positions have zeroed in. But it's too late now. The vertical assault phase has been completed. The fleet marine force has landed. cleaning chores that still need to be done. The Marines are on the beach, and as long as work remains, there will be Marines in the air. Close air support comes in many forms. Each piece of hardware is designed to take on a specific task. A smooth, professional performance comes from the merger of man and machine, the union of intensive training and advanced technology. Pilot and plane working together as a single unit. The air group is a composite of many men, many machines, each with its own job, yet each serving as a part of a greater mission. The accumulative result of their efforts is support from the sky. An essential, vital, an ever-expanding element of the United States Marine Corps. 